In this video we'll discuss the differences between Panadol types, what are their active ingredients and how they work, the usual dose, and contraindications and precautions. First, all types of Panadol formulations contain Paracetamol, which is one of the most widely used non-prescription medicines. Paracetamol is an analgesic and antipyretic. It inhibits prostaglandins and CNS but lacks anti-inflammatory effects and periphery. So it reduces fever, through direct action on hypothalamic heat regulating center. So paracetamol reduces pain and fever, but has little effect in relieving inflammation. As a result, paracetamol is not associated with many of the side effects that may occur with anti-inflammatory medications. There are some words you should learn in order to know the use of each Panadol formulation, as soon as you look at the active ingredients on the box. As we already know, all formulations contain paracetamol, and it is also known as acetaminophen, which is an analgesic and antipyretic. You may find paracetamol combined with caffeine, that enhances the effect of paracetamol. You may find it combined with an antihistamine such as chlorpheniramine or diphenhydramine, which are used in the management of allergy and rhinitis. And the presence of an antihistamine in the formulation causes sedation and drowsiness. And you may find a decongestant such as pseudoephedrine or phenylephrine, and that relieves blocked nose. You may also find guaifenesin which is used for the treatment of cough. You may find hyoscine butyl bromide, which is an antispasmodic. And you may also find acetyl salicylic acid or known as aspirin, which is non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. And finally, you may find the word Optizorb. The Optizorb formulation delivers paracetamol more efficiently, by breaking down faster than regular Panadol tablets. So Panadol is indicated for the temporary relief, of pain and discomfort associated with headache and migraine headache, osteoarthritis and arthritis, toothache and dental pain, muscular aches, sore throat and period pain. And some formulations are used in the treatment of cold and flu symptoms. Panadol also helps to reduce fever. Now let's have a deeper look at the types of Panadol formulations available. The first one is the regular Panadol, with the blue box. It contains 500 mg paracetamol, so it works as an analgesic and antipyretic. And there is also Panadol Advance, which is a formulation of 500 mg paracetamol with Optizorb formulation, that contains a patented delivery system, which allows it deliver paracetamol more efficiently, by breaking down faster than regular Panadol tablets. So this formulation starts to release its medicine in about 5 minutes. So the medicine in Panadol Advance is suitable for people at risk of stomach problems. And Panadol Soluble Tablets which contain 500 mg paracetamol. It has a faster onset of action and it also is gentle on the stomach. Panadol Max Effervescent Granules contains 1000 mg paracetamol, which provides more pain relief and faster onset of action. Then we have Panadol Extra, that contains 500 mg paracetamol and 65 mg caffeine plus advanced Optizorb technology. As we said before, caffeine enhances the pain relieving effect of the paracetamol. And Optizorb technology makes this formulation works in about 10 minutes. And Panadol Act Fast, that contains 500 mg paracetamol, and also contains sodium content 173 mg per tablet. Paracetamol is absorbed into the bloodstream at least twice as fast as from ordinary paracetamol tablets, providing faster pain relief. Panadol Night, contains paracetamol 500 mg, and 25 mg diphenhydramine hydrochloride, which is an antihistamine with additional sedative and sleep aid properties. Panadol Migraine, contains 250 mg paracetamol, 65 mg caffeine, and it also contains 250 mg acetyl salicylic acid or known as aspirin, which is non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. So be careful if you are allergic to aspirin or any other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. 
Panadol joint contains 665 mg peristamol. It is a sustained release formulation that can provide long lasting relief from joint pain, such as pain associated with osteoarthritis. It contains a higher dose of peristamol than regular Panadol tablets. So it may provide up to 8 hour relief from pain. Panadol cold and flu contains 500 mg peristamol. 2 mg chlorpheniramine, which is antihistamine that relieves rhinitis. And it also contains 30 mg pseudoephedrine hydrochloride, that works as a decongestant. This medication causes drowsiness and sedation because of the antihistamine's effect. So they developed Panadol Cold and Flu Day, which doesn't contain an antihistamine, so it can be used during the day without causing sedation. It contains 500 mg peristamol, 25 mg caffeine, and 5 mg phenylephrine hydrochloride which is a decongestant. There is also Panadol cold and flu sachets. It contains 600 mg peristamol and 10 mg phenylephrine. And Panadol sinus, that contains 500 mg peristamol, and 30 mg pseudoephedrine hydrochloride. Panadol cold and flu all in one contains 250 mg peristamol, 5 mg phenylephrine hydrochloride, and 100 mg guaifenesin, which is used for the treatment of cough. And you can notice that these four medications do not contain antihistamine, so they don't cause drowsiness. Panadol woman contains 500 mg peristamol, and 10 mg hyoscine butyl bromide which is an antispasmodic, and it is indicated in the treatment of cramps or pain, associated with period pain and abdominal cramps. Panadol baby and infant suspension, from 2 months. Each 5 milliliters contains 120 mg peristamol. Children's Panadol elixir, from 5 to 12 years, each 5 milliliters contains 240 mg peristamol. I believe there is more formulations of Panadol, but I think now you can read the active ingredients, and know how each ingredient works. The usual dose of Peristamol for children, is 60 mg per kilogram per day, in 3 or 4 divided doses. And for adults, the usual dose is 3 to 4 grams per day, in 3 or 4 divided doses. Peristamol should be administered with caution to patients with hepatic impairment. Indicated doses shouldn't be exceeded, especially in children and elderly patients, as this may increase risk of hepatotoxicity. The use of peristamol is safe, during pregnancy and breastfeeding. Peristamol is particularly recommended for patients allergic to aspirin, patients with a history of gastric problems, and for pregnant and breastfeeding women and children. That's all for this video. Make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more animated medical videos like this one.